Hello. Hi everyone. Um, how are you all doing? Um, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Um, depending where you're watching me from, my name is Tina. On this page you're watching from is called Solution Center with Tina. So you all know, I've been very busy lately, you know, trying to get some order from my customers and yes, and my friends. Now, today, I don't know, let me quickly um, put in the headline, the title of this, uh, of this uh, live show is what you need to know in having a successful relationship. How you need to know that you are in a successful relationship or any way you want to put it. So I'm just trying to right. Thank you. Mm. You just save it now. Hi. If you're on this page, please kindly um, like, comment, leave your comments. I'm ready to um, read your comments out if you want me. And also, I'm ready to listen to your own uh, to read your own comments also. Right. Um, but before I go in, I'd like to share this on my page. Okay. Okay, no problem. I'd like to share this on my page. I like to share this on my on my page. I can't even find it here right now. Mm. Hold on one minute, one sec. Okay. Mm. I'm trying to thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you all for joining me. Um quickly I'll just um all right, so yeah. Thank you, thank you for joining. Uh, <laughs> I'm just waiting for a little. Uh, I'm just waiting for more people to join me. Um, I just hope we'll see like two to three people that can join me, and then I'm fine. I'm good to go. If two three people are here, I'm fine. And if nobody is here, I'll just pass my message. Maybe they'll come back and and um, watch. The aftermath, an interesting subject tonight. You know, we can all learn something. Yeah, we can all learn something. That's right. I want to set up my Instagram and then I can start. Okay, yeah. Connecting. <laughs> Let me see how this will look like on Instagram. Wow, it's so beautiful on this. On this, uh on this uh page all right i'm advertising my hair if you know you know it all right you can see me this is the hair i was showing you guys this is um i think this is 18 inches this is how long the 18 inches looks like and the other one i wore yesterday was also was um just um 22 inches this is 18 inches this is not up to 20 inches but it looks like 20 inches right so if you want this hair contact me and i will sell it to you at a affordable price at an affordable price so if you're interested and you love this hair 
just contact me you can see how i'm brushing it just with my my and i made this wig myself these are one of this week i'm going to start another week tomorrow um i will be coming live just to show you that i'm going to fix a frontal hair tomorrow all is made by me tomorrow also i'll be putting a band on this hair so the idea is for you to see my hair the wig i sell and on friday i will be going to the markets to get orders okay so i'll be posting a lot of uh, my buyers on here if you like any of this just um contact me via my messenger or my dm all right and if you have my phone number you can as well contact me on my whatsapp messenger or you can also reach me out from my tiktok all right so tonight i'll be having a tiktok video uh which i'll be showcasing the hair and after this i'll talk about the hair too so let's move in straightly um straight to the topic which is um thank you all for joining thank you thank you which is what you need to know in having a re successful relationship a lot of people are into relationship for one reason or the other um depending what you are you know um depending on what you want and how you want let me quickly switch on this ring light maybe it will beautify it more unfortunately the ring light is not good for the for the old old um old um, phone what is good for the new phone so it is designed yeah i will talk about business that is design all right this is a new week you can see you can see the dark stuff underneath that is the net the wig um, net i'm yet to cut it off because i'm selling this one already so if you like this particular wig you love it you can see how it is i just switch on this uh ring lights so that you can give it more uh color this is what is it. this is what i do basically so if you like any of this week please contact me via my messenger i will reply you immediately i see your message thank you all for joining so in order for you to have a successful marriage and uh, su successful relationship okay i will understand that some people are in a relationship and the love is not equal as you all know some you know some looks like the uh, when you're in a relationship one partner is um more loving than the other one some of which the partner will show more romance um romantic sorry will be more romantic um to the other partner you know relationship if you're in relationship with your guy he needs to you know um he need, the relationship or the love needs to be equal and so as um marriage the following may help you improve your relationship you know talk to each other and communicate your needs don't wait for your partner yes some people are very um are very um will i use the word introvert now and uh, when it comes to speaking to their partner it's not like they don't know how to communicate but they are very quiet people they accept everything even when they know that you are wrong in that relationship it is important that you you know you you speak as a partner and you agree to disagree you know what i mean and whereby you don't listen to your partner and um you do it constantly you don't listen to your partner there is no way the relationship can can you know move forward you know in order for you to achieve a successful relationship there must be a is it will i use simultaneous uh, communication you know what i mean so there must be a sweet communication remember just like marriage relationship is not gonna be or roses you know between between you will fall out with your boyfriend you will fall out with your partner you don't want to listen to him sometimes you can be right don't get me wrong you can be right based on what based on your experience but sometimes you can also be wrong and when you notice that you're wrong there are ways you can communicate or speak to your partner that you know he or she will accept your your wrong but some people when you do some wrong things I don't think they want to listen to what you have to say because they have told you time without number how to handle your partner you know how to speak and how to handle situation like that although today i also have a guest here he's gonna be talking more about um um having a successful relationship with his own experience and what he has gone through now i'll read maybe one or two things that i've written down so that we can you know summarize if you don't accept what i'm saying 
you can as well leave your own comments in the comment section so that we can have an interactive um, live show. So yeah, the next one is if you have something to bring up, do it gently. Now, I think I'm a little bit guilty of this because sometimes I want it when I bring things up, you know, to my partner, my husband, and he is not, um, he's feeling really reluctant. You know, I don't really believe in when I tell you things and you don't want to take action immediately or you don't want us to move and all of that. You know, in, you know, being in marriage, I have now understand that I don't have, uh, you know, the say has to come or the conclusion has to come between both of us and not just me. You know, some people, when you, they tell their partner something, like they need something, they want it immediately. Sometimes we need to, you know, give our partner that time to think about it. This happened between both the male and the female in marriage. So if you don't give your partner um, time, you know, to think about what you have just said, I think your partner will just do something just to please you. And it's not nice when someone is doing something to to please you when you don't take things um you know when you don't take things very easily or you don't take your time so that your partner can have rethink about what you have just said you know gently by passing your message like you know some of us will want to pass message to our husband or our partner we just believe okay we own him we can tell him what we want we can tell him how we want you know some of us don't know how to address things especially when to you know talk to our partner and these are the things we need to learn you know, these are the things we need to learn as a, as a human being, you know, both male and female. This goes two ways, not just one way. All right. So listening to each other, don't defend yourself. Keep, can I, can keep I, deep breath before responding. Can I, right? can I right. come in? Can I come in there? Okay. <clears throat> the interesting thing in my experience is how you deliver your message to your partner. You can say it in a nice way, you can say it in an aggressive way, you can say it in a cynical way, but you've got to say it in a way which is showing respect and shows that you actually still love them rather than, let's say, castigate them. Uh, you know, that, that is a, a massive help to breaking down the problems of communication because it's communicated in the right way in the first place. It, these, these problems are issues are quite minimal realistically at the end of the day so it's just getting to a nice level of how you deliver things and, and if you deliver them in such a in a, such a nice way um, you get the, the, this, the, the response back equally with the same amount of respect if you disrespect someone they will disrespect you so deliver it in a nice way and you know, you know, things don't escalate when it's delivered correctly. Um, but, you know, this is not easy to do when you're upset. Uh, and there may be very good reasons why you are upset, absolutely. Uh, but it's still getting that level of deliverance. Okay, so um, some women don't... don't um some men and women, so it goes both it goes it goes both ways. They love to control you. They want to control you. They want to tell you to do it immediately. Some people they are very good when it comes. Okay, when you talk, when you say something gently, and the person is not doing it at that time, and um, what I find out is, some people if you want to speak to them gently, gently, gently doesn't help. They want you to remind them as many times as you can. You must understand that you need to know what you know, what your duty is in relationship. I can't keep telling you things and you're not responding. You know what I mean? When I'm saying things to you as my husband or as my partner, and you intend not to even listen or not to, you want me to remind you gently all the time. When I say the first time, the second time, the third time, I cannot continue to you know continue to remind you. All I need to do is to just leave you. Maybe when you have your free time, you can think about it. And then, yes, it takes time for a man to move. You know how they do. So most of these men, they, 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 they take their precious time before they can even move to, 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 to respond to what you have been telling them. You know what I mean? So, yes, I understand that it can, it can be very annoying. The same thing goes to women. So I understand that it can be very annoying, but 
we still have to be gentle when passing our message. Not just to our partner, not just to our boyfriend, not just to our husband, also to our children. Right? Remember the positive about your partner. I don't know if you can address that line. Interesting enough, addressing your partner um, really goes back to when you created your own relationship <clears throat> because you communicated every two minutes and you continue to do that whether it's by phone, by text, by photographs um, with the technology around us. Um, as we all leave, sadly, very busy lives, both men and women, in in first of all, you know, trying to find money, but also bring up a family. Someone has to look after the children. We all lead very busy lives. And then you find that the children start taking away the, the let's say, the communication between the parents because one is working, one is busy with the children, then you get tired. Uh, <clears throat> but, but being a respectful to your partner and you know, just a, a nice cuddle and some reassurance at the end of the day can bring everything together nicely and smoothly. And, and to me, that is showing the love and affection in your relationship, just by hugging, kissing and holding each other. And it's, it's, it's worth a thousand words, just that little bit. All right, so the next one I'm going to talk about in line is make repair attempt. This is when both of you are, you know, going through, um, a, um, going through, I mean, you know, maybe falling out with each other or having quarrel and not trying to, not trying to resolve it uh, to a point whereby both of you have, you know, you have to tell each other to, to just forget about the marriage or relationship there are ways to act, to settle or to you know bring peace in marriage and relationship this will help so much if you can court thought parting and you know both of you realize yourself and coming together some people when when we when you are in relationship or marriage with them and then you have issues they find it very difficult to sort it out within themselves they love thought parting to get involved they want someone to get involved remember this person that you always run to will not all forever live with you it is always good for a partner to always you know look for a way out to sort issues this will help you know in making amendments in all areas in their relationship this will help both of you know your mistake but whereby you are make you are you know Inviting a third party, and I've said it here, is it yesterday or the day before? Um, it will damage the relationship, it will make the relationship collapse when you are not focusing on what the issue is and you are busy trying to, you know, bring provocation in that relationship instead of looking for an amendment, which is repair, you know, making an attempt to repair the relationship. If you, as a human being, don't think of repairing the, sorry, repairing the relationship, it will always go sour, like, you know what I mean? And that is why you see some people, because they cannot handle their relationship or marriage, you see them bringing it on social media. Because they want the social media in-laws to get involved and stretch the, um, stretch the issues for them, you know, and bring their idea, even those that are not even in a relationship, or that has not even tried to, you know, or make an attempt to be in a relationship, you see them giving you ideas, coming up with different, even those that are not living with you. Remember, when you are trying to get involved in a relationship or marriage, you can never hear the truth because it, it looks like a battle where two people are coming together to say, you know what? I'm going to do everything so that people can support me. I'm going to say something that people will support me. And the other person will, will also play the same game. So because you're not living with them, there is no way you can know the truth. And if you're not sensible enough, enough, you won't be able to 
make an attempt to sort it out, to see how you can resolve it. And there is no way, because you already spread the news and the issues is all over the place, there is no, very soon it's gonna, it's gonna go out of hand because you will not be able to handle it anymore. Everyone is there. Now this person is having someone else fighting for her. The other person is having someone else fighting for him. And um, you coming together trying to repair it will be a little bit difficult because a lot of people is getting involved. The online in-laws are getting involved, saying a lot of things, things that they don't even know. They don't even know who is saying the truth. So everybody want to use this, the weapon they have to fight. Yeah, that is what it looks like. There is no way for you to, you know, for you to repair your relationship. You don't need thought pattern. If you are facing difficulties and you cannot solve it, is either you visit the house of repair in relationship or you visit your in-law. Your mother-in-law can maybe can you know fix it for you guys or your father-in-law can bring peace. But anyone aside from this will not be able to put peace because they don't know the truth. You know, even the father-in-law don't know the truth, but because they are they are they are they are adults, you know, I mean they they they, they have experienced the same thing. Maybe they will be able to bring you guys together. And then that takes us to spend time together. This is very important. This is very, very important in relationship. Marriage, even as a normal friend, girlfriend and girlfriends, this is very, very important. Whereby you don't, you know, stay together, spend time together with your, with your, with your boyfriend or, I mean, your partner. It may, it may, it may cause a lot of damage in the marriage or relationship, as you all know. Um, staying together makes you know each other, you know, deeply. Makes you, um, makes you, um, what will I say now? Makes you, stronger. when you spend time together, makes you stronger. You know, makes you, you know, how will I put it? Makes you, t makes the two partners or two partners to know they are wrong from their right. To know they are right from their wrong. You know they have that romantic time together and um, yes so this particular um, line i'm going to leave both the repair aspects aspect and um, the spending time together aspects for my guests to talk i completely agree with you that going to social media to read what you think you're repairing when you are destroying your relationship um is really either party or both parties are going to media to actually gain or get people on their side <clears throat> when they don't know anything about anything because there's two sides to a story so being being in the media um, and trying to gain uh, a vindication of what's happened to you without knowing the other side of story um, will destroy the marriage at the end of the day and your relationship whatever uh, because only the only the couple themselves and quite rightly um, the in-laws uh, in particular uh, brought these children up <laughs> these adults what are in a relationship they know what they brought up they know these people inside out and they know how to touch these people to make them understand uh, social media have not got that expertise they can criticize or support and in many cases this is what some of the let's say candidates going to social media are looking for support for their cause it was not me or it was not uh, my fault um, so repairing repairing the uh, relationship is fairly simple keep it in house keep it between yourselves and and seek an amicable settlement because when you look at the, the the problem surrounding you, it's probably minimal. You've just escalated it out of control. Uh, so, you know, put all issues in perspective uh, to the relationship. And you'll probably find it's a, a very small problem indeed, escalated for no reason. Um, uh, absolutely. All right, so... And spending time together. Spending time together, yes. Is, I want to talk is, about is, it. Uh, for, for everybody, uh, given all our busy lives, um, even if it's 10 minutes at the end of the day, spend time together. You know, you, you must, as much as possible, 
give each other time and and it builds your relationship you know talk about what happened during the day tell them what the problems you're facing either with your friends or at work or whatever but just have that dialogue in place spend time together you get a different perspective from your partner what you think it is and what they think it is and the solution is looking you in the eyes but spending time together is actually building your relationship uh, and you know you can cement certainly your long-term goals and relationship together by being together and and being together is is really a absolute must at all times all right thank you very much so the next one is going to be working on feeling good sorry working on feeling good about yourself you know and the other one is going to be accept and value differences in other including your partner you know most of these um, points i have you know made my point so many times here and um, when it comes to working on feelings feeling good about yourself okay these are the steps points that you need to you know you need to follow the following may help you improve your relationship so this these are the points you need to know to improve your relationship by also working on feeling good about yourself you know accept value differences in order in orders you know yeah yeah accept value differences in orders <laughs> i have said it last time you know you must you know as a human being you must realize that um you must realize that accepting um people the way they are is very important but correcting them in a way that they will be accepted in in the environment you know with you as a partner is also important but on this one i'm going to leave him to also analyze and talk about it so first of all i want you to talk about accept and value difference in others the the bottom line is that all relationships uh, must be must have a, a priceless value for me um, and if you have this priceless value on your partner then you can you know build a relationship very easily you're not distracted and that value uh, in the relationship is is beyond beyond monetary value there is no monetary value you know money cannot replace it uh, because when it's lost you will be in total depression um, so so put in a value and to me you should be putting a, a very high value on your relationship um, and and by doing that it will prevent you from certainly looking elsewhere because what is the value you've got and as against what you might want to look for and the values in front of you <coughs> uh, and you build that value over years it's how you treat the value is it is it is it as a high value does it have a low value um, but building the relationship under that pretext for for valuing your partner is a must uh, and and by doing so then you you create the love and caring and respect for each other um, absolutely so the next one is going to be make plans. Some partners don't love it when their wife or their husband is getting or gets involved in their plans. You know, they tell you, okay, you make your plan and I will make my plan. As a boyfriend and girlfriend, as a relationship expert, you need to make plans with your partner. That makes it more easier, makes you guys build it together, makes you know the value of building or planning together. And it's important, you know, the, you know, the, 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 the you must, it's, it's important you know the value of making plans together. That includes plan of conceiving. You can make plan on buying properties. You can make, you can make plan of, you know, having a, an account together. Why? Because you have no negative thoughts. Why some husband or partners or relationship or whatever you want to call them, you know, we don't want to make plan with you because they are thinking what will happen in five or ten years time what if this woman says she doesn't want well 
if you are in relation, if you are in marriage, you know, basically, because I'm going to pick it from that aspect. Just know what belongs to you belongs to your husband. Straight up. Knows what belongs to you at the time of the marriage belongs to you and your husband. So if you don't plan with your husband, there is no way you can, you know what I mean? There is no way you can, you can achieve your goals at the end of the day. So if you have uh, um, aims and objective, okay, in marriage, like you guys have aims and objective, what to do, how to, you need plan. Without plan, you cannot get. Okay, if you're building a if you're building a property and you don't have a plan, sorry, if you're building a house and you don't have a plan, how do you even build the house? So you must learn to plan things together with your partner. That way, things will work out and makes you guys more stronger and effective. The, you know, the relationship will be, you know, very very effective. Another step you can, you know, you you need in relationship a successful relationship is being supportive this is a very good point i should have picking i should have been you know i should have picked this point one at a time and talk about it instead of adding it up in one live video but because it's here is here so i can still repeat it tomorrow and then go into details with it support your partner it is important you support your partner only when you see red flags but you can't tell me you love someone and you're seeing red flag. If red flag has to come in a marriage or a relationship, then something is wrong that you guys have not fixed or repaired. If you don't fix it, there is no how you can plan. If you don't fix it, there is no how you can see support from your partner. And that's why you see a lot of people, they go out to support somebody else, to move from their home to support a uh, side chick or and you know someone that they don't know before or someone that they want to go into relationship with if you don't support your partner and you go outside to support whoever you want to support that is a wrong doing that is not nice i don't even like seeing or i cannot even stand seeing a man you don't support the home you don't do anything to support your wife all you do is to support people outside you are well known outside, but your home is not even built. If you don't plan with your wife, you don't repair things at home, there is no way you can support your partner. You know, there is no way you can support your partner. I'm going to leave this side for my guest to talk about if there's anything he wants to add to this. But because I'm, you know, I need to quickly rush out so I don't spend a lot of time for people to watch this few uh, video. Yeah. Planning together, absolutely. And for those men out there, my experience is very simple. Women can plan. Men are not as capable as women as planning. Men plan for next week. Women plan for next year. Never forget that. They are good planners and they have got good ideas uh, sometimes us men, let's be quite honest, and I'm guilty of this myself, is that, that I should have taken things on board because they see things a year ahead, you th see things a week ahead. Correct. Listen, to, listen to your wives, listen to your female partners, and it is for females who are really are good planners. And supporting uh, each other uh, and supporting your wife when she comes up with a good plan um, again, you know, look at it carefully. You'll probably find out that there is a good 80 or 90 percent chance it will succeed. Absolutely. Because we men don't plan that far ahead. We really do not. Um, and never mind that you're educated and you do programming, uh, so do I. But to plan ahead and think ahead and develop strategies to move forward. Females are better equipped by a mile uh, and listen to them and I'm a failure in this. I will, I will put my hand up first. Um, if I'd have listened to my wife earlier, I would have been more successful be, and that goes without saying. F listen to your wives and I've learned the hard way. Alright, so thank you very much. <clears throat> 
Be considerate, hugging, kissing, show love to each other. <laughs> oh my god. So yes, I I you know I'm going to I'm not going to say this doesn't happen. You see a lot of African people, they are very romantic. I can tell you for free when it comes to hugging their their partner, showing love. You know the 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 women they they do, do they do all of this they even love it to do it outside anywhere in the party you know where their friends are and all of that they love to kiss their their partner they love to kiss their husband they do it publicly you know so a lot of african women i'm super proud of them because they are not ashamed of who they are going out with they are not ashamed of their partner their uh, partners they are not ashamed of their their boyfriend you know if they love you they show you the real love and that love stands I don't know about or you know we have few people that don't really love they love money but what i'm saying is majority of african women when you are you know dealing with them or you are into relationship they will show you that love especially when they fall in love with you do they find they have it is very easy for them to fall in love you know what i mean it is very easy for african women to fall in, and when they fall in love with you that is it they will show you that love and then you will feel that love at that time you know, and that love, if you don't take time, it's going to take forever. If they truly love you and you as a man, show them that love too. Of course, you will enjoy your marriage, you will enjoy your relationship. But whereby you're trying to cheat on them and all of that, that is when you see their color. You know, they're not like the other um, Europeans and all of that, that take things easy when it comes to, okay, the love is over, you see the Europeans, they will just walk away. No, the Africans will tell you it's not over. You know, if they truly love you, they stand their ground and make sure that that marriage or relationship work out fine only when they are tired and they want to walk away some of them do walk away without violence and some do you know it depends on human being but you know hugging each other in relationship is important if you don't do it please learn how to do it i have a friend she even told me that she don't play with her children they don't have communication like mother and you know the female kids she don't she don't play with them i said why even when they were young, he said, no, I have never done that and I won't lie to you. I don't know how to, you know, sit down and start laughing with my children and start playing around with them. I've never done that. So they don't feel like, okay, my mom do this to us. My mom is this, my mom is that. Most of which is so wrong. That means she has never hugged the kids to kiss them and say, love you, see you soon. Is that what? She, I don't understand. So when she came up with this, I was like, no. You have to be showing them that love. She said, I, I love my kids. I said, well, yeah. But there are things you don't do with them as mother. They cannot be reading 24 hours. You know, that love needs to be there. There is no bond. It's, so are you saying there is no bond? You say, I just don't play with them. I don't know how to play with children because I didn't play with mine. All right, so we need to, you know, we need to learn how to do all of these things with our partner, children, and our loved ones is important. Is there anything you want to say about that? Then? You said it all. <laughs> okay. Absolutely. Okay. So being attractive demonstrates your commitment to the relationship. You know, if I go deeply in this topic, I will leave this topic because this particular one is something I would love to talk another day. I'm not going to talk about it because I will go deep. I'm going to do deep in-depth analysis on this one okay but we need to always show commitment in our relationship how serious we are you know so that our partner we know we are very serious you know from relationship it can lead to marriage if you i mean it's not easy don't get me wrong it's not easy and it's it's always like when you date someone it doesn't end to marriage most times and sometimes we see some people they will tell you i've known him since i was you know in primary school and you know got along at some point we broke up we came back you know the story will just be there and we met ourselves in america we met ourselves in europe we met ourselves in social in nigeria and then we got married so you know things happen like this and you know so yeah i'm not going to talk about it much because i want to i want to use it as a topic on its own it's a standard topic on its own and it's very deep than what you think and the reason why people don't commit don't you know commit themselves in marriage or relationship so that one will be a very serious topic because there, there is anything you want to say about it 
No, it is very, very deep. Is and it, it needs uh, a lot of dialogue and discussion. It, it's, it's massive. It's a massive subject. It's a massive subject. So enjoy yourself in the relationship. It is important. You go for adventures. You, you, yeah. Am I getting it right? Absolutely. You, you, and you try new things. And explore. And explore, yeah. You try enjoy new, yourself. You, you go for vacation. Try new things. Yeah, you try new things with your partner. It's important. Mm. You yes. know, if you truly love your husband, you will definitely want to try new things with him. So it is important we do all of this. And the next one is be flexible. You know, when they bring, when your husband or your boyfriend or your, I mean, your partner bring an idea, don't always hit on it to say, no, I'm not going to go by what you said. What you said is not what I'm going to do. Even if your husband is right or your partner is right, you know, in the relationship, you will want to tell him that, no, I'm not going to do hush. You won't tell her that. No, I'm not going to be flexible. I'm not going to go to, you know. And then this will bring arguments. When you are not flexible in relationship, then you, you have invited arguments to the relationship. You have invited not just arguments, but other things. Like setting back. Uh, your partner might not want to be involved in anything you do anymore because the first, second, third one, you're not flexible to what he or she is about to say. And remember, we are different human beings. Some people, when they tell you things just once, um, and you're not flexible, you're not free, you're not you know, getting along with them, they just step back. When they step back, that's it. The relationship is collapsing. Now, we don't want that in relationship. In order for the relationship to work out, we need to be flexible you know, with each other. Is there anything you want to say about that? Yeah, go horizontal <laughs> and, and enjoy yourself and accept any idea. There's no silly ideas, just accept You know, when I was doing my MBA, um, one of our lecturers was saying, if you don't want to accept or, you know, you don't want to accept the other team idea, there are ways of, there are ways of sorting it out. You can say, yes, I accept, but I think we should, your idea is coming in. But not being flexible with everyone, and even, that includes your partner, when he brings out a good idea, and because you, you already have something in mind already, I understand. But balancing it is very important in relationship. Yeah, continue. No, no, yes, you said it all, absolutely be flexible and accept what people or your partner are saying or your husband or wife and, uh, and you know take it on board enjoy it they may, you might enjoy what the flexibility may bring so go for it yes and also sheer power mm. <laughs> well I have to, if i can speak first on this one yeah. um to me, sharing power is absolutely paramount. The man does not have all the power. Neither does the woman. But particularly sharing power and, and making joint decisions, and particularly when you have children, uh, you support each other in this power sharing scope to, to guide your children, in fact. Uh, but, you know, you are no better as a male I'm talking about, you are no better than the female. The female probably knows a damn sight more and damn sight more experience. She thinks beyond what you're thinking. Share the power and learn from what your partner is saying, from the female side if you're a man. Because believe me, you will learn a lot and share the power with your wife or your female partner because you know, this is where your relationship will just explode into something fantastic. Uh, and that's where you should be. Uh, sharing power, there's, there is no dominance uh, in one way or the other. Uh, but be, support each other in this power sharing is the answer. Because that's how it becomes amicable. Yeah. All right. Um, that being said... Um, you all know what it is and what you can do for your relationship to be successful. Uh, these are the few things I believe that even though I'm going to come back again to speak on, be attractive and all of that. That one is the 
very sweet topic that I would like to do. So from what I just re um, written out, I have some points that I can, you know, analyze and, you know, some people will understand what I mean by each of these uh, points. So with all these points, you know, you've heard my guest and I has also, I has, I have also, you know, do, uh, do some little analysis and from my own experience, I speak with what I know. Even some of them is coming to me, which I know some of which I am 40 or I'm at fault. So if you listen to this video and you love it, please share, kindly share, love, leave comments. If you, if you also have to disagree with me, it's fine. All you need to do is to leave your comments. When I see your comments, we can talk about it maybe via inbox or my DM. All right. So thank you all for joining me tonight. As you all know, I'll be coming again to talk about my hairline, my, my abayas and all of that. I'll be getting new, um, new um, design of abaya coming in very soon and I will be displaying them. As you all know, the other one, I've shipped them to Africa and the, the, the customers, you know, that owns them, I, I believe they, 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 they love what I just sent to Africa. So um, I'm going to get another one by, by most Friday mostly, most time, and then I'll come and show you the new design of abaya. Just like the way I'm showing you, new design of quality woman hair. So, thank you all for joining me and have a blessed day. Thank you. Bye for now. Bye.